Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. In the mid-1970s, America was in a time of crisis. The nation was coming to terms with the fact that it could not secure a win in the war in Vietnam. It was divided back home between conservatives and a newly birthed radical liberal contingent looking to bury traditional values once and for all. And it was also coming off a decade of public assassinations and a troubling scandal that forced a promising president out of the Oval Office. So into this world of chaos came a rather quiet and steady leader who would serve as the 38th president of the United States, Gerald Ford. Now Ford's time in the Oval Office was brief, but he proved to be a capable and consistent leader in a time when the nation needed a return to normalcy. He was born in 1913 and made a name for himself early in life in athletics, where he was actually a talented football player for the University of Michigan Wolverines. He then served in World War II, and upon his return from action, he entered politics and married his wife, Elizabeth, in 1948. Now, he was a popular Republican politician in the 50s and 60s and would eventually serve as House Minority Leader during the Johnson and Nixon administrations. Now, Nixon chose Ford as his running mate during the 1972 re-election campaign. Now, VPs have succeeded presidents in the past, but never had it happened in this way. The Watergate scandal, which saw Nixon basically forced to resign the office of president, elevated Ford to the commander-in-chief as the nation's second in command at the time. Ford did his best, and he did an admirable job. He was able to maintain relative peace with the Soviet Union and stave off major conflicts in the Middle East, which had become sort of a tinderbox of Islamic aggression since the rebirth of the nation of Israel back in 1948. Now, Ford was able to stem the tides of inflation in a chaotic economy back home as well, and he was popular enough within his own party to win the Republican nomination in 1976, but he could not pull off a win bowing to Jimmy Carter in the biennial anniversary election year. Still, he remained respected even among his political opponents. In fact, upon Carter's inauguration, he said of Ford this, quote, For myself and for our nation, I want to thank my predecessor for all he has done to heal our land. Ford lived to a grand old age of 93, at the time the record holder for the longest living president in the nation's history before his death on the day after Christmas in 2006. Thanks so much for joining me once again for A Moment in History.